I would like to respond to uh, the Attorney General's uh, report yesterday where he had said that uh, uh, their decision, the Attorney General's uh, reason for not uh, prosecuting uh, Ibrahim Ali is because uh, there is no uh, intention element, right? So I think uh, the excuse given by uh, the Attorney General is uh, utter nonsense and uh, it is totally unacceptable and it is just a mere excuse on his part uh, uh, not to proceed with the case. Uh, it is not the Attorney General's uh, responsibility uh, to accept or otherwise reject uh, Ibrahim Ali's explanation as given by Ibrahim Ali whether or not there is intention or no intention. Right? Uh, the prosecution is supposed to charge a person for a criminal offence based on the facts of the case. So if the facts of the case disclose that there is an offence, it is for the prosecution to charge him. And it is then for Ibrahim Ali to go to court and defend himself by providing an explanation to court whether or not you know, uh, his words uh, amounted to an intention or non-intention to commit an offence to incite. Right? Uh, the Attorney General also mentioned that uh, defending one's religion is not against the law. Again, that is uh, totally uh, utter nonsense, I would say, because uh, under the Penal Code, under Section 298A1, right? A298. A1, uh, let me just double check this. Yeah, 298 A1, okay. It is an offense for anybody uh, to cause, uh, whether through uh, actions or words, uh, here in this case, Ibrahim Ali was inciting, right? Uh, one group of uh, religious faith, here in this case, the Muslims, uh, to burn the, the Bible. Uh, which can create disharmony, ill will uh, uh, against uh, Christians is in itself an offence. Is in itself an offence. And uh, if the prosecution was serious, they could charge Ibrahim Ali under Section 298A1 uh, of the Penal Code. Uh, as the, the Attorney General has shown that uh, he is unwilling or for some reasons unable to prosecute uh, Ibrahim Ali, I call upon him right, to issue a fiat, an order or a permission to the Bar Council right, to initiate legal proceedings or criminal proceedings against Ibrahim Ali since he is not, that, uh, since he's not doing it, like, since he doesn't want to do it. Right, uh, they can issue an order to the Bar Council to take up the case on behalf of the government to prosecute uh, Ibrahim Ali. As this, this uh, case of appointing... Uh, Private lawyers, etc., etc., is not something new. They have done it before. They've appointed Datuk Shafi in Anwar Ibrahim's case. So uh, there's no reason why they cannot do it in this case. So I urge the Bar Council also uh, to approach the, uh, the uh, Attorney General and apply for the fiat, right? So that uh, as this, this is a case of great public in, uh, importance and uh, public interest, I hope the Bar Council will also take up uh, this call.